Hey, this is Dr. Rob Lindsay at Vallejo Health and Wellness Center. And today, the video, I want to talk to you about a, a gene mutation that has to do with a gene called MTHFR. And MTHFR is short for a really long word, methylene tetrahydrofolate reductase, which simply is an enzyme. So we have MTHFR. Okay, well, what we found recently, or not recently, but in the most re recent literature is saying that we have uh, about 50% of our population uh, has a defect in this particular gene, uh, which codes for an enzyme. Now, this enzyme is really, really important because of where it is in a certain biochemical pathway, it happens to drive a whole bunch of other biochemical pathways that have to do with things like the production of serotonin and dopamine uh, or methionine. And as you, you, know, you know, serotonin and dopamine has to do with how you feel about yourself uh, and to do with anxiety and depression and so on like that. So I want to take a few minutes and just use the whiteboard to just make a drawing of kind of what it looks like and try to fill in a few blanks and then talk to you about what needs to be done to find out if you have this defect because I really believe that this is a game changer for many of the people who have chronic illness and they've tried everything, they've been everywhere, they have not been able to get the help they need. So we're going to imagine here that I'm going to draw some circles here. The circles are, I want you to imagine that they are like a gear, a gear that you might find in an engine or in a watch, a gear with teeth that drives another gear. So I'm going to draw a series of gears here. This first one here is called the methylation cycle or methionine. The second one is called the folate cycle. And the third one is called the B BH4 cycle. And the fourth one is the urea cycle. Now the particular gene that codes for the enzyme for, for this MTHFR, this methylene tetrahydrofolate reductase, remember anything with an ACE on the end of it is an enzyme, happens to be right in this area right here, MTHFR. Because of its location, it affects the way these other gears turn. Now, folic acid, if, it turn, if the folate cycle turns the way it's supposed to, you're going to have a good methionine cycle, and this has to do with methylation. Methylation is the root of how our bodies function well. If we have bad methylation, we have bad health, period. Methylation is what keeps genes from being turned on or turned off. Uh, and so, what happens partly here is that with, uh, with uh, methylation, um, this enzyme works to uh, convert methionine into something called homocysteine. Okay, homocysteine, we'll put this down here. Long story short, if you have a buildup of homocysteine, that means you have systemic inflammation. That's a really bad deal to have in your body because that leads to cardiovascular disease. It leads to heart problems. It leads to a whole host of inflammatory conditions in the body. So if you slow this cycle right here down, you're gonna slow this cycle down right here. Now also, methionine is critical for uh, helping you to make proteins, uh, for utilizing antioxidants in your body, uh, assisting your liver to process fats. It's also involved with keeping you from not being depressed. So this cycle is really, really important, okay? Now, if you have a defective gene right here, and you can't turn any of these gears properly, some of the problems that can happen is that you won't be able to break down toxins in your body. And you can't break down heavy metals, you can't break down uh, things like copper and high iron in the body, and they build up in the body. That's really toxic on the system. Also, if you can't um, uh, convert, you know, if you, if you convert too much into homocysteine, like I said, you're gonna have a buildup of coron coronary heart disease, uh, thrombosis, strokes, other vascular diseases. So this is really a bad deal and it's going to lead to dementia as well. Now, um, also homocysteine is poorly, in this case, would be poorly converted into glutathione, which is our most powerful antioxidant. So high homocysteine 
means that you have low glutathione, which is our main antioxidant. That's our main scavenger to fight free radicals. So that's really bad. If this happens, now you've got liver degeneration, uh, you've got anemia potentially, uh, increased inflammation in the body, and it decreases your ability to make something called SAMe, which happens up here. And SAMe is critical for depression, keeping you from getting depressed. So, if you have this gene defect, you can't drive the folic acid cycle, you can't uh, drive the methylation cycle, and then you can't drive the BH4 cycle. This has to do with how your body makes serotonin and dopamine. Serotonin and dopamine, this is how we feel good about ourselves. Do you know anybody who has anxiety or depression or they've got mood disorders, they've got tics or obsessive compulsive things? Okay, these things, these problems lead to thyroid issues, they lead to irritable bowel syndrome. MTHFR defects have been implicated in over 200 disease processes that we know of now. Fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue syndrome. So this is really a hot topic right now in the field of functional medicine and you'll find that there aren't as many, it seems like, MDs who are really looking into this. But we can test for it and uh, the test costs about $150. It's a blood test and it'll tell us if you have a mutation or a defect in the MTHFR gene and this could solve a lot of our potential problems. So if you're interested if, uh, and you'd like to get this test done, please contact our office. Uh, if you want more information, please give us a call at 952-949-0676 uh, and I hope that we can uh, see you soon and help you out. Thanks and God bless you.